Welcome everybody to the Beal Deal Special Edition. My name is Beal and I'll be your host today. We've got a special show today, an excellent show in fact. But first, what you've all been waiting for, special edition of Beal Deals. So first off, I want to talk about Kickstarter. If any of you have a Kickstarter account, I would suggest that you change your password. Kickstarter apparently got hacked and they leaked your name, your email, and your encrypted password. So technically, they shouldn't be able to decrypt your password, but you should try to change your password anyways for security reasons. You don't want people randomly donating to projects that you don't like, right? Um, over on the indie scene, Indie Gala just released a stress test, pay what you want bundle. There's a link to that. It's at IndieGala.com. Um, th some of the games are pretty generic, like Alien Shooter and Zombie Shooter. But uh, Pathologic is actually a decent horror game. And it's pay what you want, so you can pay as much as a, a dollar, or you can pay as little as a penny. So, you know, check that out if you have a chance. Um, Best Buy has some Disney Blu-rays for $5.99. These are the live-action ones. Um, they include interesting stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean and Prince of Persia. So, you know, check that out if you're interested in Disney Blu-rays. Also at Best Buy, Saints Row 4 for PS3 and Xbox 360 is down to $20. If you have Gamer Club Unlocked, you'll get an extra discount on it. It comes down to about like $17, I believe. And also at Best Buy and Amazon, uh, Beyond Two Souls is down to $25. It's by the guys that did um, Indigo Prophecy and Heavy Rains. So if you like movies, <laughs> a mov like movie style games, check that out. Or you just watch a YouTube video of someone playing it. You're not going to miss much. Amazon right now has a glitch where if you buy one Disney Infinity figure, you get one free. Uh, some of them are already sold out. Some of them are like, some of them had prices reduced. Some of them had... Uh, Prices increased. So check that out as soon as you can. And without further ado, let's get to the game. So today I'll be streaming Attack on Titanfall. So this is a game where you play a soldier and you actually double as a pilot. It's kind of like uh, Counter Strike in that sense that there's two teams. Well, it's more like Call of Duty. There's two teams. You can summon a mech almost any time you want. But you don't want to really summon, summon it too often because you'll lose a lot of points. Um, so in this game, you just advance and get points. Every, every time you get a kill, you get, get some points for your team. There's, there's different types of weapons you can use, assault rifle, shotguns, and there's certain weapons that are specifically anti-Titan. But of course, the best way to kill a Titan is to jump on their neck and cut off their weak spot. Um, it's, you know, Titanfall is a very original game. With its uh, parkour system where you could just jump around. And you can do a double jump, wall run, and basically climb up buildings. So you get a, you could get to the rooftop and get a very good vantage point on your opponents. But I just like it for the mech design. And without further ado, let's get this started. I'm running this on the lowest setting, so wish me luck, guys. Let me know if, if anything go, goes to shit. Uh oh, I touched the connection. Okay, it connected. So as you see, there's a bunch of spaceships. They're the ones that drop down Titans, I guess. Or it might be Space Combat DLC, who knows.
Alright, play beta, training. What? I didn't even click anything. What just happened? What is going on here? I guess it forcefully puts you in training? Because I'm pretty sure I did not click anything. Yeah, this is probably the shittiest computer I can run Titanfall on. Which, uh, to give Titanfall credit, it has pretty low minimum system requirements. So you can run it on shitty computers like the Xbox One. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, with a shitty computer, there's probably a long, long load times. It's just something to deal with. Yeah, today's the... 16th. I believe today's the last day to get um, regular registration fees for SoCal Regionals. So if you're in the SoCal area or you're planning to play in any of those tournaments, I suggest you register now or let your friends know that they should register as soon as they can. SoCal Re Regionals is legit. It's running 20 different games in this very small student center compared to EVO that's only running what 6 games max in like a Vegas convention center ah, apparently Seth is saying that other streams have to wait this long as well Wow, very optimized. Oh. This unit is authorized for military use only. Possession by an individual is a class one felony. Damn, look at those. Press R to start the training simulator. No, I want to start shooting. All right, I'll press R. Yeah. Welcome to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning: unregistered user detected. Key accepted. Training pod is authorized. Training Welcome, pods. pilot. To calibrate the AR display, please look at each of the red lights. Uh. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? No. Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. Whoa. Entering the matrix. Alright, let me know how the sound is, guys. You are free to move around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. Sprint through the tunnel. Jump over the obstacle. For greater distance, jump while sprinting. Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull yourself up. Tutorials. As a pilot, your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, which allows you to run on walls. Wall run across the gap to proceed. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. Well done. Wall runs. What is this, Mirror's Edge? Use sprinting, jumping, and wall running to make your way to the exit. I wonder if there's any secrets around here. Oops. 
completion requirements met. All right. Got our runs down. Oh, now we get a double jump. Jump kids, extend your natural jumping ability. You can jump once more after leaving the ground. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. What is hole above? Oops. Yeah, Eris refused to play the PC version because he didn't want to play it on pad. Use wall running and double jumping to make your way to the exit. Nah, I'll just walk. Oops. Dang it. Got to do that all over again. Woo, we're the edge. Excellent navigational skills, pilot. Cloaking, making yourself nearly invisible, is essential to pilot survival. Press Q to cloak. Get past the sentries. Cloak first, then move through the area quickly. I just run through it. Who needs cloaks? Oh. To get past the sentries, cloak first, then move through the area quickly. No. I can get past them. To get past the sentries. Cloak first, then move through the area quickly. Ah, fine. Damn sentries. Well done. Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom. Ah, I can't disable cloaking. To monitor your remaining cloak time. <laughs> hmm, time for combat. In closed quarters situations, you can kill silently with a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. Smith this. If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an Legit. execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. This is the Smart Pistol, an auto-targeting weapon. Get close enough to a valid target and the Smart Pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling this. So apparently this is as dumb as the Halo pistol. pistol to neutralize the target. In a sense that y'all may lock on. So it's like, alright, wanted. Boom! Target eliminated. The smart pistol can lock on to more than one target. So as long as the target is locked on and it's in your reticle. Eliminate all of the targets. They're dead. Smart pistol. Ooh, look at that. Try to eliminate all the targets with one trigger pull. Oh, all right. Targets neutralized. Woo! Some enemies, especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Kill the pilot with your smart pistol. Wait until the weapon has acquired all of the possible lock points before pulling the trigger. All right, all right. All right, all right. Whoops. Use your smart pistol to neutralize the target. Target down. No way, Hypermobius. I ain't joining no military police. That's about the survey corps. Switch to your rifle. To take a more calculated shot, you can aim down the sights of your weapon. 
Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. Targets Got him. Uh, Musasi versus Gegard. Throw a grenade into oh, each I of mean, uh, Bashida. It was a very sad fight. Very sad. Throw a grenade into each of the windows. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Destroy all opposition in the area. Uh oh, we got opposition. Your mini map is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops. Oh, there's some guys back here. Hey, ready? Go, ready? Go. Back here. Ah, uh, fuck the shit. Boom. Hey, guys. Minimal damage sustained during live fire exercise. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titan fall imminent. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Anti-Titan weapon. Destroy the Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. Whoa, what's going on? For this certification, death simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, when your view screen tints red, you are close to death. Avoid taking damage for a short time, and your health will restabilize. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. Wow, the lag. How do I rodeo this titan from down here? Oh. Good job. Taking on a titan is very dangerous, even with the Jump right kick. weaponry. Jump kick. Pilots earn credit towards their next titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your titan is built, you can drop your titan onto the battlefield. To continue, Please initiate Titanfall. Can we kick this up? <laughs> All right, here. Titanfall. Sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Ah, oh, proceed to bike. Titan to mount up. Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. What? What pods? Oh, those pods. Wow, this is hella laggy. Can I melee them? I can 
Clutch. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Where's the last two guys? Excellent. Combat. I didn't even get the punch on. Complete. It's disappointed. I want to show him who's the Iron I Fist. Can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. The dash meter is located beneath the crosshair on the Titan cockpit display. Each blue box represents one dash. Please dash to the left. Dash to your right. Dash forward. Good job. Good doggy. See to the exit. Wow. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. Oops. No. Seriously? Dash out of the way of the rockets. No, I'll dash into the way of the rockets. Oops, too much. Got it. Ah, so annoying. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. Vortex? This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. Gravity squeeze? Gravity punch. Skilled pilots often disembark from their titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your titan. Head into the control room to open the gate for your titan. Oh, time to hack some consoles. Then I check out my elite hacking skills. 285. Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the gate. When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re embark. What? Oh, there's a door here. Going. To continue, pilot your Titan to the exit. And it's like portal all over again. All right. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. They also have hands. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. Uh, rocket salvo, huh? Be sure to deploy offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. Mm, waves. Come Next on, wave. wave incoming. Be advised. 
Enemy Titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. Uh... Hello? Tanifar, please! Are you guys still with me? <laughs> Did that just happen? Because I think that just happened. That's unfortunate. Don't tell me how to do this all over again. What is going on? Let's see, go back to training or play beta? Play beta. Connecting. All right, let's set our loadouts. Really? Those are the only two classes I get. Well, let's get to it. That was an interesting tutorial. So I guess the goal with the smart pistol is just to run up to them, let the lockout take over, and get auto kills. Sounds legit. That editorial didn't even t teach me how to roll the yellow titan.
Uh, Davao asks, are any NorCal guys coming to SCR? As far as I know, not for Tekken. There's some coming down for Soul Calibur. Well, long load times are long. Who would have funk it? Oh wait. That was done? No, I was just lagging. Uh. All right, I get to pick my loadout. Okay, this is a battle of attrition. Eliminate all enemy forces. Good luck. Yes. What's going on? Wow. This is gonna be great. Alright. This proves it. Computer is too shitty for Titanfall. Oh no, I'm getting shot already. Oh, what? Wow. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the Titanfall tutorial. <laughs> Guess I'm getting this for Xbox One. <laughs> this is... This is terrible. Uh, flowers. Why? I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. How do, how do you even play this? This is very unfortunate. Oh, I think I finally loaded. I can actually move. Sort of. Kills. Is that bad guy? Those are totally bad guys. I'm behind their spawn point because I'm so laggy.
ready. Balcony clear. I don't even have to aim, I just point and click. Who cares about lag? And no one ever destroys that dropship. Well guys, I already did better than Rip. I won my first match. Excellent. Uh, you guys still there? <laughs> well, that was kind of odd. It was extremely laggy during the beginning. And it decided to not be laggy right afterwards. Oh well. Kaim. My mortal enemy. So reduce music. Enough low immediately. Have to saved. Alright. Turns out that auto pistol doesn't automatically kill, but it does play the damage. So who cares? Just keep shooting.
Uh, load times. What can you do about load times? Well, you know what low times means. Flappy bird. My high score right now is 43. Let's go, guys. Oh, son of a... Two. Let's try that again. Four. Five. Making good progress. Yes, low time should be measured in Flappy Bird flaps. Flappy Bird scores. 60. Oh my god. Got distracted. 61. My Flappy Bird score. Ah, oh, super right. It, cover it. Cover it. No. Fuck it. <laughs> Still loading. Destroy all enemy forces. No. Last connection server. Well, that just means another flappy bird run. I should like flip the chair around. Connecting. Unfortunate mistakes were made. Up to 20 right now. Dang. Crash that 23. And it's still loading. Good times. Did you know that the reason that a bunch of game companies can't put mini games on their loading screens is, I believe, because of Namco? They copyrighted, they basically trademarked mini games and loading screens. So now no one else can do it.
Thanks, damn cool. Yeah, it's right that the chat isn't updating, so I can't even see if anyone types anything. Thanks, chat. Or should I say thanks, Twitch? Uh, Twitch just killed me a flappy bird at 32. Ten. <sighs> Alright, that part is asking me to reload my chat. Should I? Alright, I'll reload my chat. Uh. But if I can't connect, it's your fault, Lampard. Because Twitch sucks. Ten. Twenty. Oh, sorry. I think. Maybe. Who knows? Yes, assassin. Wow. Time to fight just closed on me. It just said nope. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this preview of Titanfall on a shitty PC. If you want to check out the game on a better PC, check out Rip's stream at twitch.tv slash level up your game. This PC is way too crap to run this game. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. And good luck with getting the deals. Until next time, see you out later.